Okay, this is basically dry, flaky paint. It comes off pretty easy, and I'll take it off with the uh, grinder. Alright, this is a brand new 36 grit disc. The uh, flakes are tungsten carbide, so it holds up pretty good. This is the disc that's been in use for maybe about half an hour on basically dried up paint. And there's some spots that where the paint has really started to melt onto the pad. But this pad is actually relatively intact. This paint has some bubbles, but for the most part it's in pretty good shape. Um, so it's going to be more difficult and take more time to remove. This took about half an hour to do here. Okay, I've got a brand new disc here, and then underneath it I've got the disc that I just finished using from grinding about that 10 square foot or so of the wall, and um, the paint was in pretty good shape, except it, it was bubbling and um, you can kind of see the paint is essentially melted onto the disc and it's all the way around and you'll notice that when you're doing the um, when you're grinding that the pad does not bite into the wood as well and it tends to smear the paint around instead of actually um, removing it so what I'll do to clean this up is uh, put stripper on it, let it sit overnight, and then wash it off. Okay, I've just finished sanding this deck. It's taken me about three hours. The deck is about 300 square feet, and in spots I've actually gone down to the bare wood, but in other spots I've simply uh, done patchwork. And I would estimate there's probably about 100 square foot of sanding, so 100 square foot in three hours. Okay, this is the disc that I've used for the back deck. It's been in use for about three hours on fairly dry and chipped up paint. The disc itself is in pretty good shape. There's some spots where the paint is melted on, but it could still be used for a little bit longer. Um, if I moved to a new deck, I would probably put on a new disc, just because if I could save some time with a new disc, I would go ahead and do so. Now, the color of this disc is different than the other ones. That's because I've stripped the paint off of this. So this is a, a reused disc. And the stripper changes, it, it pulls some metal off of this disc. I, I don't know if it's bad or not, but the disc still seems to work. This is the area underneath where I've been grinding the paint off the wood. And it throws up a lot of dust. Um, these boards are actually primed white. You can see there's quite a bit of dust underneath. This is an example of the scoring that can happen from this coarse disc of this grinder. Um, 
there are, it's rotating, so there are patterns of the, the grinder is left behind. I just highlighted these with um, a real dry paintbrush, and it's comparable to the raised grain of these boards here. It will be noticeable if you're looking for it on the finished product. But if you're not looking for it, it's, it's pretty subtle. Something else this grinder does is if you're not paying attention, uh, it can really dig into the wood. And if you're real careful, then you have to kind of sand that out. One thing this grinder does not do well is feather and edge. Um, you can see there's it's fairly rough here. So generally I will have to take the paint all the way to an edge for a clean finish.